Like I said, Proust, he'd forgotten something. Like it was there in his mind, but he couldn't for the life of him, he couldn't remember what it was. And it was driving him nuts. Foo! He, he, he tried his usual tricks, like he dipped a madeleine into, into a cup of tea, and nothing, nothing happened. He took a tincture of barbiturate, nothing. A sip of absinthe, useless. He conjured up the side of the, the lace hem of his mother's skirt, zero. He even tried his secret thought, the, the one that always worked, the memory of the Marquis de Palancy blowing his nose in an emerald silk handkerchief. Still nada, rien. Suddenly, the sun's rays, they were, they were all dappled and golden and, and Proustian, and, and they fell onto, onto this African violet here, uh, the one that, that Comte Pierre de Polignac had given him, uh, the one in the corner of his chambre à coucher, and it made him think of the time he'd stroked the, the face of the servant girl, the one who'd, who'd stolen his pince nez to use as a paper clip, uh, which made him think of the times that he'd watched his mother apply her, her maquillage at her toilette, telling him that, that she couldn't wait for Botox to be invented. Ah, uh, and this reminded him of, of, of when he showed the Duchesse de Valentinois how to use soap, which reminded him of the, the time the Marquise de Gonville shook her head. Ah, oh, what a time. And, and when he was a little boy and needed to go and make pipi. Oh. And then, and the, uh, that, awful, that awful time that when the Principessa spilt the, the cup of sulfuric acid that she was going to throw in the Vicontessa's face. Oh, whoa! And, and then the cowboy that he'd met at the Palais Royal that time, at the Grand Danse. And, 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 and the nobody that, that was there in Montmartre putting the finishing touches on a bad abstract painting. And, and that, uh, that once that he was offered a, a cup of coffee on a napkin, the time on the Rive Gauche in the, in the Café de Deux Magots. And then finally he thought, this is ridiculous. I need to remember that important thing I've forgotten, not all this stuff that's going on in my head. And so he sat down to write. Because he thought maybe, maybe that would release the important memory he'd forgotten. But he found that he couldn't write and nothing came out of his pen. And then, like a thunderbolt, he remembered. He'd run out of ink. He had to get some ink from the stationery on the Rue du, du Vieux Temple. And so, and so Marcel Proust, he went and he bought some ink. <laughs> 